After two seasons as a Florida Gator, Funa Nakasoglu was ready to start the next chapter in her basketball career. She joined Turkish team Galatasaray for her first season of professional basketball. The European League and the Turkish League are both very high com like competitions, so I was excited to just um, soak up what I could and get some experience in that aspect. Nakasoglu's team was rolling, holding a 15-3 record on the year. Coronavirus concerns initially forced the team to play a game without fans. It literally felt like a training session. I remember warming up and I felt so weird. Um, obviously, you know, the bench people were there and the referees and whatnot, but it just did not feel the same at all. She didn't know it at the time, but that would be the final game of the season. We had like two or three days and there was like a lot of talk up in there and then they, you know, told us that the league was getting postponed and then eventually cancelled because it had gone you know, from zero to 100 real quick. Turkey became a coronavirus hotspot. The bridge between Europe and Asia had more than 118,000 cases with over 3,000 deaths by the end of April. With the season over, Nakasoglu and her teammates processed through what could have been. A lot of us were hoping that, you know, maybe it would pass and we'd be able to play um, later on in the year. Um, in the finals especially, but you know, it obviously sucked, but um, everyone knew that it was for the best. I mean, everyone's health is more important than anything. Nakasoglu is now home in Australia, arriving before the country closed its borders. I had two days to pack up my stuff, leave my apartment, you know, say my goodbyes um, and get back home. So it was very, it was very chaotic. Abrupt goodbyes are not forever. Basketball will eventually return, and Nakasoglu is ready. You miss it straight away, even if you've been doing it for so long. Um, it's just like a part of you now, so I'm just etching to get back. Back on the court, where she belongs. Zach Oliveri, WUFT News.